Hello and welcome back to Newsroom Nigeria. This is where we give you hot, fresh and sizzling news all day long. If this is your first time here or you haven't subscribed to this channel, kindly subscribe, like this video, leave your opinions in the comment section below as well. According to Newsroom Nigeria, with just a week remaining until the September 24th, 2024 governorship election in Edo State, two prominent political figures have officially left the People's Democratic Party, PDP, and joined the All Progressive Congress. Senator Francis Ali Alimi Kena and Honorable Omorigi Ogbeide Ihama, both notable leaders from Edo State, were warmly received by the APC leadership. Their defection comes as a significant development in the build-up to the election, adding fresh momentum to the APC's campaign efforts. Senator Francis Alimi Kena, the immediate past senator representing Edo North Senatorial District, has been a key political figure in the state. His move to the APC signals a strategic shift in the state's political dynamics, especially in Edo North, where he holds substantial influence. Ali Kena's return to the APC comes after a period of political alignment with the PDP, raising questions about what is this change could mean for the upcoming election. Honorable Morige Igbeide Ihama, who until recently served as the representative of Oredo Federal Constituency, also made a similar political move. Both figures had previously held important roles within the PDP, but cited dissatisfaction with the party's leadership and internal decisions as reasons for their exit. Ogbeide Ihama, in particular, had openly voiced concerns over PDP's decision-making process during the 2020 election circle, which saw Governor Godwin Obasiki join the party. The APC national chairman, Alhaji Abdullahi Omar Ganduji officially welcomed the two politicians into the party. The public reception emphasized the significance of their defection, with the APC portraying it as a strengthening of their ranks ahead of a governorship election, with the election drawing closer, both Ali Mekana and Ogbeide Ihama pledged their commitment to rally support for the APC's candidates. Senator Ali Mekana expressed his joy at returning to the APC fold, assuring party members that it would work hard to mobilize voters for the upcoming election. His remarks highlighted his confidence in the APC's vision for a do state and its determination to contribute to its success in the coming weeks. Honorable Ogbeide Ihama, reflecting on his time in the PDP, reiterated his earlier stance that the party had made a critical mistake in 2020 by welcoming Governor Basiki without consulting key stakeholders. He described the move as a sign of impunity, one that ultimately contributed to his decision to leave the party. His, dis his departure marks a significant shift for the PDP, particularly in Oredo, where he remains a popular figure. He said the man only joined the party in September last year, that impunity must stop. So obviously, I think this is not just somebody who did not support Obaseki's shift to PDP as at the time that it wasn't it was rejected in APC. Let's just put it that way. Not only did he not support that move, 
I think that there have also been some other things that are, that have happened since then. Since I mean, since when Obaseki became the governor, that did not also sit well with these people, because according to allegations, Obaseki has not really done well, because essentially he has fought with all of the people that helped him, you know, get to that position. He has fought with Wiki, he has fought with Shaibo, and God knows who else that he fought. He has fought with. I think that you know, in order to be a very good leader. In order to be a, uh, to lead your people well, you don't also forget those people that helped you to get to the position that you've attained. Those people are very important because they made you. No matter where you get to in life or no matter where you want to get to in life, do not forget those people that helped you climb the ladder. Do not forget those people that gave you water when you had no water to drink. Do not forget those people that gave you a shoulder to lean on when you had nobody to call on, nobody to console you and you were going through a tough time. This is just to say that Obaseki forgot those people who helped him. That was why Wike said that when he brought uh, Asui Godalo to his house, two times he rejected them and said he wasn't going to support anybody. Although rumor has it that he's supporting the APC candidate, but he said at the channel's interview that he told them point blank that I'm not going to support anybody. The one I did, the one I supported you the last time, what did you how, how did you pay me? How did you pay me? You only paid me with insults. Now you are coming back to me because you think we are in the same political party that I am going to support you. That is not going to happen. So I feel that. That's also borders, borders on the reason why these two uh, high-ranking politicians in Edo State have decided to move their camp with the APC. Or oh, what do you all think? Let me know in the comment section, guys, what your thoughts are. Well, these are just my opinion, as you know. Before we go, let's take a look at some of the reactions in the comments. And also, let's not forget that, you know, these political parties, uh, politicians as well, they go, to, they, go, they go where the money is. If they think that this party is not going to favor their ambition, the, the present party they are in, they will just move quickly and it doesn't, it doesn't take time. They move quickly to where they think they will get more money, to where they think that they can get, they can advance in their political career. John says... All these the campies, are they for the masses or for their personal survival? Of course, it's their personal survival. What do, which masses? How does the campaign help masses? Nigerian politicians are bread and butter politicians. No principle, no ideology. I agree 100%. But go to the stomach infrastructure. But go for the stomach infrastructure because they love money and care less about the masses. They do not care about the masses. Don't just deceive yourself that uh, politicians are decamping because of the masses. Uh -uh. They go where the money is. You all, thank you very much for always listening and watching. This is where I'm going to draw the cutting for now. I will see you all in my next video. Bye for now.